Hang on a minute. Okay. <laughs> That's good. All right, I almost forgot to turn on the Instagram. I was going to use my other... Oh, wow. That's too much. I was trying to do this without the glasses, but that's not working. All right. So I almost forgot to turn on the Instagram. I was going to use my other app, which is cool. But today, what we're talking about is hassles that you got to deal with when you're attempting to do anything. And it started out, I'm hooking up with Uber again. I, I did it a year or so ago. And I never ended up driving for them, but I did do all the things with my car and insurance and everything to get it set up. And I had to redo it because it's been a year. Need new inspection and all this. So I keep, I, I've had my business registered in Nevada for more than five years. And I keep sending them the business license and they keep telling me, well, it has to have your name on it. So I'm, I'm trying to explain to them, it's a business license for a business, not for me. It's uh, It's got my business name on it. Because when you file a, a business name, you, you're separate, setting up a separate entity and it doesn't have your name, it has the business name. Well, apparently, because it's an app and it's all worldwide and everything, they, they have a dealing with your name and you have to get it all cleared through one of their green light hubs, they're called. <clears throat> so I didn't think I was going to get it done. And I made the appointment to get my inspection done just in case. And I went down there and the guy was very helpful. Straight up did everything uh, cool and it all worked out great. And it just goes to show you that you need to come up with these little glitches all the time in your business and you're just going to have to find a way to get around them. And lots of times, maybe most, it comes down to finding a knowledgeable person on the other end that can get done what you want done. And there was another, oh, depending on other people, I have... A problem depending on other people if you're in business you do too I'd imagine and if you're just starting out you will likely develop this because even in your personal life if you look around the, the fact is that most people are flakes and they do not do what they say they're gonna do anything that happens seems to be a an acceptable excuse for not getting done what they're supposed to get done, what they said they'd get done, and you're supposed to just accept it. Well, this is the way things work. You know, things don't always go your way, and yeah, I get that. But if you're telling someone you're going to get something done and it's got to happen, or it's going to cause problems that, that extend far beyond what you are involved with, you it's up to you to make this happen. I talked about this the other day. Integrity. Being in impeccable with your word. Which is the first of the four agreements. And people aren't like that. They just are not. So I'm dealing with somebody new and I'm getting assurances. And then I find out there's another person involved and I'm still getting assurances from guy number one and this is a time critical instance I need this done it must be done or an entire thing that's planned is gonna go bottoms up so what do I do at this point in time there there are factors involved where I may or may not be able to create a backup which is what I normally do Especially if you're, if you're dealing with something you have never dealt with before and it's as critical as it is for me for this thing and things happen very quickly. In this instance, you're going to want to back things up so that you handle when someone else flakes. 
because if you don't get good at that, if you don't recognize critical things and create backups, you're done for. Because sooner or later, you're going to take it hard because of something like this. I remember uh, listening to a, a guy named Doberman Dan, world-class copywriter, badass marketer, uh, a bootstrap entrepreneur, all the good stuff that you, you know, want to be. <laughs> and he was talking about his his merchant accounts. You know, this dude's making big, big bucks. And all of a sudden, one day, somebody at the merchant account thinks, well, we think you're a high risk. Bam, shuts him down. They had a backup, right? So he switches everything over. No big deal. A couple days later, that one shuts him down because now it's like a domino effect. Oh, we heard this guy was a bad risk. Yeah, I think he's a bad risk too. And so everybody's, anyway, I think it was his third one that finally held up for him. But the point is he had in place backups ready for when the inevitable disaster occurred. And sure enough, it happened, but he was ready. And here I am. Tomorrow is the drop dead cutoff. I'm gonna check back later tonight to see if in fact my item is being shipped overnight as promised with tracking number from FedEx or whoever because if it's not I gotta set up the backup and that 48 hours is I think I can do it I, I, I'm confident I can if must if needs be I'm confident I can I can back it up at this even that tight so there's the thing no matter what you're doing you have to understand that lots of times people are not going to do what they say they're going to do they're not going to follow through and you've got to be ready for it because if you're not you will eventually lose and hopefully it won't be something so big that it'll put you out of business which does happen but as long as you are thinking a couple steps ahead and you've got your backups on hand, ready to pick up the slack, you'll be great. This is what's cool about shooting your videos when you're walking around a neighborhood. Those are some big dogs, man. <laughs> anyway, there it is. Today's point, always have backups on hand to take care of things when people don't that's all i got for right now i'll see you tomorrow i'm out